Thanks for joining us today. My name is Jim Fleeler, Vice President of Sales for Charlotte Products in Canada. And I want to take a few minutes today and talk to you about our Serve Clean Food Service Food Processing Sanitizer. It comes in several different put-ups here. The first size is a 946 ml bottle. This is ready to use, so there's no need to dilute. If employee turnover is a bit of, a, of an issue, uh, basically the people would come in, you can show them this is the bottle they use, and they use it on all, all the food service uh, uh, contact points. Simply add a trigger sprayer, add a um, flip top, you can mix it in some containers, ready to use, and you're all set. So that's one really solid peace of mind uh, way that you can go and, and you're in business with sanitizing right away. The next one we'll come to is our Serve Clean Sanitize. Now this is a concentrated version here. This dilutes at one to 512, so that means that this bottle here makes 513 bottles of ready-to-use sanitizer. That is very economical uh, for, the, for the tightest budget. This is the one that you would wanna go with. The only issue with this one is this is an open stock, so the top's open and it's, a lot, it's relying on you to mix it 100% correctly so that is an issue that way if you don't have any kind of wall mounted dispensing and things like that so but very economical serves its purpose the third one i'm going to talk about and i'm going to put my glasses on i have my gloves on before i forget is our two liter concentrate same specific product concentrated but it has a no chemical contact insert now this insert is here that takes so it lowers the risk of a chance of a splash in a, in a worker's eyes or on skin or anything so built with this container built with the utmost safety in mind so what do we do with that what we need to do is we need a dilution device of some sort. So I have our brand new portable dilution control system here. It's diluted, pre-diluted at 1 to 512. It's very easy to use. Okay, you would simply take, a, you know, your water source, tighten the cap. You take this cap off, simply thread this on and you are all set, okay? So all you do at the touch of your finger there is just, just take and fill. Here's your bottles, which we supply secondary labels for you as well. Uh, you would simply take this, fill, dispense to your desired level, put your trigger on, and you're ready to go, okay? And when it comes to filling pails, buckets, whatever, you would simply take this, dispense, press, fill to your desired level, and you're set that way. So really, three different uh, packaging put-ups here that will match any particular type of facility and the skill set of all your employees and the importance of uh, sanitizing through your facility. Now, one thing that we will, we want to verify. Sanitizing requires a certain PPM. It's either between 200 and 400, it depends on the particular facility. Infection control officers will dictate that. So what we do recommend is when you go through a facility and you fill charge buckets and mop buckets with your sanitizer, which I've just filled there, that you constantly check the PPM count. And it's very simple. I take my solution in my bucket, I'm taking my test strip, I'm soaking it here, Okay, and I'm seeing that it changes, verifies, and then I simply want to verify and match it to the amount of PPM and the color on the side of the container. And you can see right there, I'm right within the limits of where I need to be, uh, and that's solid peace of mind. But keep in mind, when I go room to room area from butcher shop to produce to deli to bakery, I'm dispensing some of that sanitizer, so I constantly want to check my PPM. So that there uh, is an absolute must for any food processing or even disinfectant process, as a matter of fact. So really just one simple idea from sanitizing food prep and food service facilities from field to table, three different put-ups, just another example of how Charlotte cares and helps you lower the risk of an outbreak. Thank you.